Hi, this is Jeff Russo from the Gilson Engineering Office in Charleston, West Virginia. In this short video segment, we're going to take a look at the proper configuration of the Siemens PS2 valve positioner on a linear control valve application. Proper commissioning of a PS2 valve positioner involves two things. Correctly mounting the unit and then configuring it for the operation that you want. Mounting is fairly straightforward. We supply the mounting brackets and kits for most popular actuators. Proper mounting involves following the instructions in the mounting kit and almost always ensuring that the valve is at mid-stroke at the same time the feedback arm is in the horizontal position and at the same time the position display on the front of the unit reads somewhere around 50 percent. It doesn't have to be exact, somewhere between 48 and 52 is sufficient. But what this does is ensures that the stroke of the valve is centered in the 90 degree range of the potentiometer so that you are able to control position over the full stroke of the valve. Some adjustment of the slip clutch mechanism here might be required to get the reading on the valve position to match 50 percent. Once this is accomplished, you can go into the program menu by holding down the mode key for approximately four seconds. And it's very simple. You need to configure two parameters. You need to tell the positioner whether you're operating with a linear or a rotary valve. In this case, I can choose a rotary valve or a linear. I'll choose linear. And the second thing I need to do is tell the positioner whether I want to operate through a 90 degree rotation of the potentiometer or a 33 degree rotation of the potentiometer. If I select 33 degrees, I take my 32,000 bits of resolution and compress them down into 33 degrees rotation on the pot. I do this for short stroke valves and still get good resolution. Most times I'm on longer strokes so I choose 90 degrees rotation. Also make sure that the selection that you make in this portion of the menu matches the position of the transmission arm on the unit. You need to select 90 or 33 degrees with the yellow transmission bar and match it to your software setting. Again, the default is 90 degrees, and in 99% of our applications, this is sufficient. And now comes the easy part. You go to menu item 4, which is the automatic initialization screen, and press and hold the plus key for 5 seconds. And then the positioner takes over and does the rest. The display will walk you through five run modes during the automatic initialization and they are labeled one, run one, run two, run three, run four, and run five. Run one establishes the direction of operation. Run two establishes the endpoints of the stroke. Where is the valve fully open and where is it fully closed? Run three measures the actuating time and includes a small duration of time where the positioner does nothing except look at the leakage in the tubing going to and from the actuator and the positioner and reports this leakage to you in terms of percent of stroke per minute. This allows the PS2 positioner to look at outside itself at the valve system and identify installations with excessive leakage that need to be maintained. Run mode 4 measures the minimum amount of air required to move the valve at every point during its, along its stroke. And run 5 optimizes the transient responses. All of these parameters are tracked over time during normal positioner operation and changes in these parameters 
due to valve friction or packing uh, degradation or seat degradation can be alarmed on using our diagnostic software or an asset management system. Now our initialization is finished, so I exit the program mode by pressing and holding the mode key. And you can see that I emerge in manual mode. I can place the positioner in automatic mode by hitting the mode key once, and you can see that my input signal is 51%, and that's exactly where the positioner is now. If I vary my control signal input, the positioner tracks accordingly. Perhaps your specific application requires one of our special features. If your application requires the enabling of our trim saver feature to prolong the life of your control valves, or if it requires partial stroke testing, or if it requires something as straightforward as split range control. These are very easy functions to enable. You simply go back into the program mode and make the necessary changes to the parameters as detailed in the instruction manual, which can be found at our website, www.gilsoneng.com. For further assistance with this, please contact your local Gilson engineering representative at 1-800-860-4499. We hope you've enjoyed this short video about the configuration of the PS2 for a linear actuator in a very straightforward control application. Siemens has a wide variety of valve positioners to meet your needs. Please contact your local Gilson Engineering sales representative for more information.